A study suggests quick-moving streams of space dust can transport microscopic creatures like tardigrades from planet to planet. Professor Arjun Barrera from the University of Edinburgh's School of Physics and Astronomy is the author of the new study. He suggests that some smaller organisms may be able to travel across star systems through clouds of speeding space dust. And the proposition that space dust collisions could propel organisms over enormous distances between planets raises some exciting prospects of how life and the atmospheres of planets originated. Barrera also mentioned that these streams of dust are not only capable of transporting particles to Earth, but also from it. Streams of dust can travel through space at speeds up to 43 miles per second. Barrera calculates that the impact of grit colliding with our planet's atmosphere could knock small particles in our upper atmosphere, thus possibly sending it on a journey to other planets. This interplanetary dust rains down on us every day, hitting the planet at speeds of between 22,000 and 157,000 miles per hour. However, there's also a similar theory known as panspermia, which has been around for thousands of years. It supports the idea that life on Earth originated from outer space microorganisms, able to initiate life when reaching a suitable environment. Scientists have officially demonstrated that some organisms, like tardigrades, can survive for extended periods in space, and considering this, the idea becomes even more compelling. Currently, the most trusted theory is that life on Earth arose from comet and asteroid impacts. Rocks do indeed travel from planet to planet. Scientists have proven this by finding numerous meteorites here on Earth that were once part of Mars. However, if Barrera's theory turns out to be true, it means dust clouds could have planted life on Earth rather than a comet or asteroid impact. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.